holler if you hear me. Holler if you hear me. And welcome to this week's edition of Luke Shocks, because the headlines keep on coming, so I keep on coming right at them. Limited Run Games is under fire for their release of the game Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, being caught getting printed on cheap basic CDR discs rather than any actual real quality disc. And you're wondering why, especially because of all the money they saved on firing Carl Lynn in order to appease a brony lunatic. Nintendo got caught censoring their new Paper Mario remake for specifically a part where Goombas catcall a woman in your party under their new making sure pink-haired vipers who don't buy video games are happy on social media policy. The trailer for the Lion King live-action prequel Mufasa was out and got ratioed intensely on YouTube, and if you're absolutely surprised about that at all, then you clearly have not been paying attention to these kind of movies lately. Mark Hamill was recently seen appearing at a White House print conference this week in order to demonstrate just how pathetically sad and alone his life and career have become these days. Revolting criminals known as game journalists are celebrating the day one censorship of the game Stellar Blade for the crime of Eve being too sexy while they are guilty of the crime of not being unemployed enough. The Fall Guy movie premiered to acclaim for its villain being portrayed as a woman who sincerely uses anti-male buzzwords, showing that at least somebody in Hollywood is now finally able to listen to who actual paying audiences want to see as villains, and that is women who actually have authority in Hollywood. Helldivers 2 is now seeing a mass exodus from all the people playing the game on account of now there being a new enforcement from Sony where you need to go and have a PlayStation Network account in order to play the game. Not knowing that around most of the world, most countries absolutely positively hate anything affiliated with Sony. And the Warhammer 40k controversy, the suffering that the franchise is feeling under the poison of identity politics continues as narcissistic losers known as modern game writers like Ashley Cooper, the senior writer of the upcoming Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 game, is now being exposed for tweeting things such as things fueled by white guilt slash self-hate slash white savior complex, where she is spouting out blather, blather demanding that no white men be cast in anything for a year and let's see what happens. And that comics don't belong to white men and never have, even though white men invented comics. So it belongs to them like everything else white people have invented. But knowing a worthless piece of crap like her that probably lives in some hellhole like Seattle or San Francisco, it's really a matter of she probably took one good look at the Wikipedia entries for classic comic book superheroes or for the American comic book industry starting and noticing all the Jewish names that were there on the list of all those producers and publishers and writers and artists. And well, knowing these are the kind of people that are the type who, well, University of Michigan recently had their big graduation ceremony where a bunch of disgusting jack and apes known as pro-Palestine demonstrators tried to get in and uh, do that little demonstration only for the authorities to rightfully force them out, as all of those bloodsuckers deserve. Well, maybe this is something that now, I don't care how much money, how much sweet baby ink money gets put in there, the world of Warhammer ought to be doing that. Now we've seen clearly enough examples between piece of garbage Mike Brooks, sociopath Ashley Cooper, and everybody else involved in Games Workshop that were responsible for insinuating the female custodies retcon that is destroying the entire lore of the Warhammer universe single-handedly, and the rumors of Henry Cavill's outrage at this and either attempting to depart from the show or in standing up against Games Workshop and Amazon in order to make sure that the series does not become another example of the Rings of Power. This is what we should be doing against these type of people. Since these social justice types are how much they want to say that Warhammer is either some kind of deconstruction of fascism and only stupid gaming chuds don't see that, or that it's an evil fascist thing that we must rewrite in order to make sure that the five people still think Megan Rapino is a whole human being that we should respect uh, get appeased, even though they can't afford their own lattes, let alone afford to go and even buy an army that's not even painted for the Warhammer series. I mean, good, good Lord, we already knew this. I mean, but then again, this dumb bitch, Miss Cooper, already knows uh, that, you know, white men own everything they've ever invented and that she has never invented anything and that her life, you know, is completely worthless. Hence, 
her lack of self-esteem and also the self-hate, which and completely fuels everything she's ever had. I mean, Jesus. Con this is an example of how confession through projection is the lifeblood of woke parasites, and that their hatred of property rights is fueled entirely by their envy and their knowledge that anything they ever have is handed to them. In case you're wondering why these easily brainwashed people of the college age are always these types that go into universities, that go into entertainment companies, that go into game developers, and try to insinuate and force all this garbage down their throats that actual functioning thinking people do not like and do not watch. Hence why if you take somebody in everyday America that isn't a pink-haired waste of space, they will look at them and just either walk away. Hence why these people where if you don't engage them and either tell them what they want to hear or whatever, they immediately take anything beyond abject confirmation of their ego and narcissism as some kind of horrible, violent attack against themselves because they have no personhood. They only have their ideology. So then that's when they feel justified in caving your head in with a brick or a bike lock, destroying your car, finding where you live and have them exposed online, hoping psychos will find you like what that piece of garbage journalist at Vox did to a sitting Supreme Court justice not too long ago on account of that old little bill that got overturned that he didn't like knowing. And guess what? It did happen that some psycho tried to find uh, that Supreme Court justice's home and the attention to uh, do to him what happens in the world of Warhammer when battles happen. Yeah, we should expect that because for these people, they don't live for anything other than their ideology, which continues to make it so hilarious where these people want to go and belittle franchises like Warhammer for daring to have action and masculinity in it. But then at the same time, when you look at the way they live and think and tweet, they are entirely of the exact same mindset as the ideologies that goes on in these eternal holy war obsessed factions of the Warhammer franchise. I mean, for them, and the, for, and well, then again, good look, take a good look at the uh, complete lack of self awareness and rhetorical inconsistency of these people like Cooper, who don't want cis white men anywhere at all. But then again, you put any haggard old white man who's visibly mentally rotting as we speak right there on live TV, and so much as he has a D next to his name on CNN, they will devote their entire waking hour to excusing and defending his mental decline and his provable bigotry towards anybody that doesn't think or speak the way he tells them to, especially if they're not white, which is completely transferable and relatable to these type of people. Where if I showed Ashley Cooper a picture of Eric July, the N-bombs she would be dropping in a fit of sociopathic rage would make the if you're not going to vote for me, you ain't black line from Biden look like the most racially tolerant moment in human history. But this is all stuff that we already know. But it's nice to go and affirm that we actually have knowledge and actual judge of character and the ability to speak and the ability to coherently think in a way that these type of people do not, because all they have is what they are dr have drilled into their heads. These people might as well be the Adeptus Custodes. They might as well be the people that are artificially modified and grown in a way by parents that are totally complicit in this crap to be entirely devoted to the God Emperor, to be entirely devoted to battling anybody that challenges the God Emperor, even if it requires sacrificing people with potential potential great power in the thousands to keep this doddering old fool alive. I mean, Jesus, Jesus, just look at all those little kids that wind up in the Biden White House and God knows what happens when the cameras are turned off. But remember, this requires actual knowledge and critical thinking, whether it's knowledge of the world at large or if it's knowledge of the Warhammer franchise. Knowledge is power, hence why these people like Ashley Cooper are powerless losers because they have no knowledge, they only have their ideology. Hence why for they are so much into hating white people, they only ever seem to want to get involved in franchises, yes, established franchises instead of making their own, that do everything they can to make sure that they insinuate their preferred minorities and buzzwords into franchises that are owned by whitey. Proving, you no, know, in showing through their actions, that for how much this loser Cooper uh, does these things, her writing credits include crap like Batman Gotham Knights or the upcoming Destined to Fail Jurassic Park game, where all she's doing is inserting a power fantasy for white women to live through black women into a franchise that was a Steven Spielberg creation with, uh, oh yeah, uh, a white male lead. So it's almost as if in following the through line and how they think and act, it shows that to these just social justice blood 
bloodsuckers, they have no value and they see no value in themselves or in minorities groups and only see value in things that are responsible uh, because Whitey created it first. For how Warhammer was built on taking every kind of fantasy or science fiction franchise out there and building it up into a whole new Fantasia of its own, that's still more creative than the self-consciously worthless people who have to go and overcompensate for their lack of brains and soul and heart with activism. Something that's done in the motivation of a business, of creating a new franchise, yes. Something that's done in destroying another franchise so that you can wave your hammer and sickle, you're just a loser. And that's not my opinion. I know I'm right. So I want to thank you all for watching. Subscribe to my channel. We'll reach 10,000 subscribers this year. Don't forget to become a channel member today and to shop my art store at the second link below. You can buy my artwork there. You can commission me for artwork and you can even donate because when you donate my store, that money goes straight to me instead of YouTube. And besides that, do not forget to go and uh, buy or uh, commission me outside of America via a donation. So until then, beelines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.